Hello, this is a quick look at the Musu Robot Vacuum Cleaner. This is designed to help you with one of those annoying chores. When you open up the box, you'll get an instruction guide that tells you how to do the Wi-Fi connection and turn it on. You can see there's not very much to it because it's very easy to set up. Further down in the box, you can see all the little bits you get with it, including a more detailed instruction manual just to help you with any troubleshooting and how to get this set up. You get a remote control. There's the main unit itself, which comes with a warning sticker on the top, so have a good read of that. Charging dock, power supply, and the brushes and spare filters as well. The unit itself looks like many of these little robot vacuums. It's round, it's not too heavy. You can easily carry it up the stairs, down the stairs if you want to change rooms. It's got a bumper on the front, which acts as a sensor as well as some sensors built in so it can sort of see its surroundings. And then on the bottom, you've got the main vacuuming unit. You've got the charge plates at the top. And then these two sections here are where you put the two brushes. They've got L and R on them and they just clip straight on. So setup is incredibly easy. You simply get the two brushes out, which leaves you with two spare, which is always handy. Push them into place, pop this onto a charge, and you're ready to go. I like the design of this. The blue section at the bottom is a different color deliberately because that's the bin that you need to empty. And there's just a little catch. You simply put that down, pull this out, and then at the top, you can see the filter. So that's already preloaded again you get a spare so you can easily swap that out or if you clean this one you can put the other one in if you want to leave the other one too dry and then this just opens out and this is where all your dust and dirt will be caught there's a second filter on the right hand side that doesn't come out and when you're done emptying this it simply clips back in and you are ready to leave the robot to clean up again charging doesn't take long and there's three battery indicator lights on the top Once you set this off, it will just do its thing. As you can see, it is good at getting underneath things like my sofa. And when it bumps into a table, it will move around the object, which means you can just leave it in a room. Although I would recommend making sure you don't have any loose objects on the floor because things like pet bowls can be easily pushed around and if they've got water in, they can spill. You also want to watch out for any wires. So I've got a cabinet full of kits here and it's got some power cables behind it. And while it's great that the vacuum can go underneath the cabinet because that's quite a difficult thing to get under normally, one thing I have noticed is I've had to make sure all the cables are lifted up, otherwise they can get caught underneath and it can get stuck. This has Wi-Fi built in. To get this set up, you'll need to do a fancy little maneuver by pushing in the sensor and holding down that button. And then you can see the Wi-Fi light has started to flash. Once you've got it paired with the app, you can see a visual representation of the room. So it will show you what it's cleaning. You can also control it remotely, see the battery indicator, and you can even set up a schedule. So you don't need to use the app at all. You can simply go in, set a time of when it should come on and whether it comes on uh, just once or whether you want it on daily. You can also make use of the included remote to manually drive this. So you can control it left, right, forwards, backwards, or you can set it off to do the wall cleaning or even spiral spot cleaning. So I thought I'd put this to the test. I've been using it just on a daily basis and I thought let's give it a bit of a challenge. So let's mix some pepper with some cracker pieces, some dried pet food, and of course a vacuum cleaner's worst nemesis, hair. Now I've popped this all on the floor in a pile and I've used the spiral clean to see how well it does. Typically my house isn't this dirty. I just thought I'd give it a bit of a challenge. And you can see that overall it does a pretty good job with the smaller items. So things like pepper and small bits of dirt and dust would be fine, but the larger items get flipped around. And I've found, I've had another one of these vacuums before, and I've found that it, they're not great on these larger items, but they are absolutely brilliant on smaller items. I then put it on the standard uh, cleaning just to see how well it would do and it did a very good job overall the floor was clean but I found that the larger items got caught up a little bit and just got pushed around it couldn't bring those in they were too big and of course you are going to have to detangle it because it doesn't have any sort of anti-hair tangle technology this is brilliant though is if you have it on every day it will clean up a large amount of dust during the week and then you can just empty it I'm only emptying it once a week but you can see it's quite full and that's just everyday dust that settles on my wooden floors. 
I have used this upstairs as well. It's fine on the carpets. It's a little bit choppy. You can see it kind of moves around, bounces up and down a little bit as it moves over the carpet. But it does have the big advantage that it can fit under the bed. So I don't need to uh, struggle in trying to hoover under there. I can just let the robot go under and do its thing. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.